Uh oh. Baron Samdi. <coughs> <clears throat> the image that suddenly lights up in your comm link is clearly a non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using the matrix to type beam their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell that the voice has been modulated to disguise it. <clears throat> Bonsoir, mon ami! You must be careful avec these devices. They can be hacked if you are not careful. God, I'm sorry, that... <laughs> no, 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 keep doing it, I like it. It's good. Once the bonsoir came in. Who are you, and how did you get this comlink code? Forgive me, I am Le Baron Samedi. <clears throat> Perhaps you have heard of Samedi. He is a decker of unique gifts. <laughs> Some have gone so far as to call him a technomancer. We too, we have a common knowledge now, and we share a common purpose. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, and also, you know something? You notice he wasn't talking like that when he was in, in the Matrix with uh, Lin. Yeah. He wasn't speaking. He wasn't speaking French. That's. <laughs> Explain yourself, now. The girl, she is important to a Sandy. He is grateful for your timely assistance to her, and he finds himself in position to return the favor. <laughs> Sandy knows the one you are after. He knows. And he can help you get to her. But this comlink. <laughs> it is not a secure connection, is it? No. <laughs> we need to meet face to face, so to speak. In cyberspace. <laughs> we have we have lost so many demographics now, Nick. I The well, entire nation of France The entire nation of France is closing their browsers in disgust. <laughs> We had them open for a second, so... You know, what's your stake in this business? Why should I trust you? Yeah, what's your stake in this business? The one you are after poses a grave threat to many. But that is for later. We must hurry now. I mean, maintenant. Suddenly, the Baron's flowery speech is gone, and he's all business. Get to a secure jack point. Enter Shadowlands. I will meet you there. Bon voyage! The Baron grins and his image flickers away. Yeah, the whole the whole sort of like French voodoo guy is kind of his, like is is you know his Matrix persona. <laughs> but yeah, Baron Samdi in uh, is in voodoo in uh, voodoo. He's like the uh, god of death, basically. Was he not also a boss in um, Saints Row Two? Oh yes, he yes he I believe so. The what? Well, yeah. Well, the Som the, that gang was called the Somdies, weren't they? Yeah, Sons of Somdi. Some, yeah, yeah, Sons of Somdi. Yeah, and they and like I remember the guys talking about the Loa. Yeah. Those are like the gods and spirits of Voodoo, basically. Okay, I did. In 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 another related note, Papa Shango does wear a top hat. Well, so, so does Baron Samdi in a lot of the, the stories about him. So I'm sure that's where what, what Papa Shango's costume was based on. All right, the Union. Getting justice for Sam... Okay, I'm sorry. Getting justice for Sam is going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. <laughs> you know, you're usually so on the ball, Flandry, but somehow you let that sneak up on you. But she is. And if you're going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around, or through, those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstresses' unions feel more like home than ever. Ah, it's good to be back. Um... Uh... Uh... Jenny Hex said she was just gonna be going home early, she was kinda tired. She's gonna call later. <laughs> um... Oh, we probably should tell tell Cherry Bomb the bad news, huh? Probably. Cherry Bomb is swamped with customers, but when she catches a glimpse of you, she gets up on her tiptoes to talk to you over their heads. Hey there, Flandry, what's going on? <laughs> hey, Ch Cherry, listen, we need to talk about Shade Orchid to say, it's your ex, he's dead. <laughs> Flandry is kind of a dick, listen, it's your ex, he's dead. What? 
Shane's dead? How? I can't say right now. It's too dangerous. But I thought you should know. My god, Shane. She looks at her customers, then down at the bar top for a long moment before finally composing herself. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe we'll talk later. She continues processing the information, then she remembers something. Oh, hey. Johnny Clean asked me to flag you down the minute I saw you. Said he's got something he wants to talk to you. So He's got someone who wants to talk to you. He sounded a little freaked out about it. He's waiting for you downstairs. Did he say who it was? The wind is out of her sails. Uh, I can't remember. He made it sound like royalty. You know, someone called the Duke or something like that. The Baron? Maybe, yeah. Gotta go. I've gotta get these people drunk. She returns to her needy customers. Alrighty. Man, those are some well, sensitive customers. <laughs> Sorry well, about Well, you. these places are... <laughs> yeah. Your ex. Well, it's, it's an ex-boyfriend, I mean. Is that really that tragic, really? It's tragic to know somebody you know died. Well, it depends on the breakup, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've known some people who would not <laughs> be, be entirely distraught. Your ex is dead. Slow clap begins. <laughs> A single tear of joy just starts to flow down their face. Let's see. Let's talk to Coyote here. Coyote's face is pale and her voice is low, shaky. What the hell was that back there, man? Just what the frag was that? This is a bug hunt, man! A bug hunt! <laughs> hmm. Looks like the Brotherhood is transforming their... <laughs> just bugs. Giant, fragging bugs. And, Sa and Sam's sister is their leader. If I didn't see it, there's no way I'd believe it. Giant, unkillable bugs. She shudders, shakes it off. Fine. Whatever. I want that woman dead now more than ever. If you go after her again, you think of me, okay? I'll be around. Locked and loaded. Will do. Okay, later. John Bartlett. Who's this guy again? I'm not sure. Ah. Oh my! You looking to hire the best or some common rabble? The best, of course. You have the option for saying, common rabble. <laughs> the best, of course. You got it. Look up the Nephilim network next time you're hiring. You won't be sorry. What's your story? It's your usual classic story for the ages. Hometown boy does good. Joins an elite squad, then boom! Boom is a technical term for an explosion. I got blown up. Got hurt. <laughs> got hurt real bad. And now I have these shiny legs. I do it all again. Obviously, I'd try to miss the bomb. Now I'm here, running the best damn elite merc unit out there. What's the story behind the Nephilim network? Need to know, chummer. And you don't need to know. How'd you get involved with the Seamstresses Union? Oh, you know how it is. There's a girl, and a gun, and a back against the wall. You might say, me and this place, we were made for each other. I ain't gonna tell you more than that, am I? Mr. Johnson. Who is quite a few people to talk to. There's Bobby. <clears throat> oh, we got 17 karma. Now, if now if you're like most people, Nick, you're probably wondering what the hell were those giant bugs? I am indeed. Well, this isn't really a spoiler because I don't tell you it in the game. But they are actually one of the ties between Shadowrun and Earth Dawn. Back in the back in the FASA days, I've told you before how they actually are actually in the same universe, right? Right. Earth Dawn is actually the prehistory of the sh of like the Shadowrun world. It takes place like a couple thousand years BC, back when the like during you know the cycles of magic when magic was at a higher level than it currently is. What happens is. Th bad things tend to start happening when the cycle of magic gets to the point where magic is really high. These, like, terrible interdimensional beings called horrors start appearing and wreaking havoc. That's why the ancient civilization of, like, the Earth Dawn era was, like, wrecked to the point where, like, you know, like, we don't, it's, like, you know, not in our history. Hmm. But before the horrors, before the horrors show up, there are, like, lesser beings 
there are like lesser beings of the astral world and other planes of existence that start appearing like before them. Like when the mana level isn't high enough for the horrors to show up and trash everything, but it's getting high enough that like more and more, you know, magical beings are appearing in our universe, in our world. And also possibly it's like as the horrors are getting closer, like through the astral world to Earth, it's like some of the other other beings in the astral world that are like closer to us, they're getting like sort of pushed. They're sort of like forced to migrate, essentially. Right. And so there are these beings. There are these being the in the uh, insects. Those insects. Those insect spirits are actually a type of astral being called uh, in invi. I n v a e. That's what that's what they're called back in the uh, Earth Dawn era, anyway. And they are not horror the horrors themselves, but they are sort of like the like their precursors. They're when they start showing up. That's a warning that the mana levels are rising to like you know dangerous levels. Hmm. So they're kind of, they're not, they're dangerous in themselves, but they're also kind of a harbinger of worse things to come. All right. What drone? One AP bonus. And like I said, that's not really a spoiler for this game, because in this game it doesn't actually come up, because... Well, part, partly because Shadowrun and, and Earthdawn are no longer owned by the same company, so they can't explicitly reference each other. Right. Um, let's see, what else should I get? Let's see, Drone Combat 7, I can equip... I mean, at Drone Control 7, I can equip Class S drones. And at Drone Combat 7, I get Drone Accuracy plus 10 Accuracy plus 4 damage mm. for all my drone attacks. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Take a lot of karma to get there, though. Right. I'll need to bring my intel. I need to bring my intelligence up to seven, then bring my drone control up to seven, then finally bring my drone combat up to seven. Question is six. Let's boost up rifles a bit. If I get up to five, we get a new uh, skill. Dead eye increases increases to hit by twenty percent. Count down three rounds. I uh, cool down three rounds. Alright. Okay, first I'd have to get range combat up to five. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? Range combat? And then, uh... Okay, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a little more karma, but... Bring rifle up to four... Okay. Got two karma left. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it to bring my strength up to two. Just cause. Basically, just cause I don't like the idea of my, I, I don't like the idea of my character just having these like flaccid noodle limbs that he <laughs> he can't throw a gr that like he can't throw a grenade past its own blast radius. It just offends it offends my vanity. If you're a troll, you can get strength up to 16. Huh. Maximum for a human is only 9. What's the in-game benefit of that, though? Well, of strength? Of strength at 16. Oh, um, melee attacks. Oh, okay. So if you're using, like, a sword or a machete, you can tear shit up. <laughs> well, you already tear shit up with a sword or a machete. That's kind of what those weapons do, but you know what I mean. All right, <clears throat> we are looking pretty beefy, I have to say. Well, not literally, because our strength is still only two, so we're actually probably very sort of wiry and scrawny, but metaphorically speaking. And, you know, I think it's time to, I think, I think it's time for Johnny, Johnny Five to go into retirement, I'm afraid. Mm. One of the, one of the lessons learned from our our most recent adventure is that he is just no longer able to keep up with the uh, the opposition. Bob wasn't looking all that hot either, actually. I gotta 
I got. I'm hoping those class, those rank S drones become available soon. 